Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're addressing a question that many Google Cloud Platform users encounter. Our viewer, Mohamed Roshan, is curious about how to tag and label Google GCP load balancers. He mentions that while tagging compute instances is straightforward, he can't seem to find the option for load balancers. Let's explore this topic together and uncover the steps to effectively tag your load balancers in GCP. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. To tag Google Cloud Platform load balancers, we first need to understand that load balancers are managed differently than compute instances. Let's start by accessing the Google Cloud console. Once you're in the console, navigate to the Network Services section. Here, you will find the Load Balancing option. Click on it to view your existing load balancers. Select the load balancer you want to tag. On the Load Balancer Details page, look for the Edit button. Click on it to modify the settings. In the edit settings, you will find a section for labels. Here, you can add your tags, enter the key and value for your label, then save your changes. Finally, to verify that your tags have been applied, return to the Load Balancer Details page. You should see your newly added labels listed there. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Currently, Google Cloud Platform does not support tagging and labeling for load balancers. However, you can label other resource types. For a complete list of supported resources, check the Compute Engine documentation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can now set labels on Google Cloud Platform load balancer forwarding rules. This also applies to static external IP addresses and VPN tunnels. To update labels, use the command gcloud compute forwarding dash rules update, followed by your rule name and the label key value pair. For more details, check the gcloud reference documentation. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now please hit subscribe if it helped. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.